She, she lived there uh, most of one summer when she was a young girl and helped on the ranch. So she knows very well what it looked like back in the 40s. Plans for the future include completing the preserve design. The preserve is designed around the upper Sand Creek drainage. We currently own about 37,000 acres and lease about 2,000. We would like to own all of the upper watershed so that we can control what flows through the preserve. We're close, but we're not there. As far as our plans, it's basically to continue what we've been doing, and that is using fire uh, through the use of prescribed or controlled burns to mimic the seasonality of fires that shape the prairie. We burn the prairie in the spring, we also burn it in the late summer, and we burn it in the fall, because that's what our research has showed happened historically. When the prairie burns, and if the prairie burns, has dramatic consequences in any way. If you're a Republican in Senate District 39, my sister and I want you to know these facts about Senator Our Dad. First, our dad is a great and conservative leader. To grow the bison herd up to 3,200 animals and to provide the grazing influence. So what was it like to be a cowboy and work on the ranch? Time and, and uh, nobody's telling you anything. You're on your own. You're alone out there a lot of times. <laughs> Rain or shine. It didn't matter. Whenever you left there, if there was a rain and you went home just like the sun was shining. That's right. You get, got Go ahead. Get, get you want to let him cross? Down the back sure. Of the deck, fill the boots full of water, go to the rain, and hope the sun oh. come out this afternoon and dry you out. Well, that about wraps up our tour today. Now you know what 39,000 acres of prairie are all part of the story and legacy of Pahuska and the tall grass prairie. Take some time to check out the buildings here and be sure to sign the guest book by the gift shop. Ready to return back to Pahaska? Just follow the road back the way you can. You'll see the Pahaska directional signs along the road. And don't forget the wealth of stories and history waiting back there for you. Like the Osage Tribal Museum, the Osage County Historical Museum, and the historic downtown district. You can also stop back in the Pahaska Visitor Center for more information about things to see and do in Pahaska and ask to see the fire and thunder video the National Geographic Society did about the tall grass prairie preserve you're enjoying today. It'll knock your socks off. It's been great traveling with you. And on behalf of myself and all our guest narrators, have a great day on the prairie. And we all hope to see you again real soon. This auto tour production was made possible in large part by a grant from American Express with supporting grants from Southwestern Bell and the Osage County Industrial Trust Authority.